products to charities across the UK. Charities use these products to both enrich and expand their services and gift them to beneficiaries who are in desperate need. When I was 18, I was using for about six months. I was actually on the streets. When you're out in the rain, it is horrible. You can just stay in shop corners. It could be scary sometimes, you know. But I went to my mum's and become a weekend user. The lowest point then was when my little sister, at the time, she was like eight or nine. I fell through the door, off my face, I having a moment of her, and then that's when I went, whoa. Nearly back on the streets, and that's when Emmaus came into my life. Leanne was helped by Emmaus, a charity combating homelessness. Emmaus Glasgow has received goods from Inkind Direct since 2005. And Kind Direct gives me that opportunity to help with my budget and provide quality goods to my companions. We use all sorts of products from Unkind in all areas of the community. This stuff uh, was the delivery yesterday from Inkind. From the point within Inkind, it's just being able to have dinner things, just like soap, toilet trees, being able to have female toilet trees, toilet roll, like really good washing powder and this other stuff. It is definitely things to use. And helps them with their self-esteem, their feeling of well-being, their confidence. And it's the first stage to recovery, regardless of what your what their situation is been. The first thing I started doing was work, working in the shops. As well as that, I was also in the kitchen. And they, while I was there, opportunities come up for like, pat testing. I, I feel like I have achieved most of what I want to achieve. I'm happy, I'm stable. Every month, Inkind Direct engages more manufacturers and retailers as they prioritise product donation, recognising the growing importance of reducing waste while increasing social impact. In 21 years, Inkind Direct has worked with over a thousand companies, diverting 25,000 tonnes of products from landfill. We have redistributed £200 million worth of products donated by global brands to 9,000 cash-strapped charities working at the front line of some of the UK's toughest social issues, helping over 2 million people year on year. We met in Kind Direct right from the start. My son was age six and he was diagnosed with adult leukaemia. Doctors, nurses and um, friends and family are wonderful but they don't know how you feel. And so we thought it would be good to set up a support group. We do lots of events, parties, picnics, days out and also the children in hospital and practical help at home. So everything from Inkind Direct is, is an, an amazing help to us. I'm Jasmine, I'm seven years old. I'm a tumor. And I'm, I'm going to hospital to get radiotherapy to make me all better. You first find something that you so find out your your child sees yourself, and you don't really know where to turn. We thought the best way to do to tackle life was just to try and be happy. Class, we've helped us loads with the happiness that we made up for Jasmine. It's me really happy that I've got all these things. We could never have given. The families, what we do give without any kind of aid, not, not at all. I think it's important that these things aren't put to waste. Um, I think it's a, a perfect way to, to use these sort of goods. They might have been, been rejected by the, the manufacturers or by the, the shops or the stores, but it certainly isn't rejected by the children. The Prince's original vision has never been more relevant or of more interest to the public than it is today, and demand continues to rise for in kind direct service providing goods. Inkind Direct is growing. The Inkind Direct international network now operates in France and Germany and is continuing to expand. And with over two billion pounds worth of surplus products in the UK, there is still lots more to do. Wherever Inkind Direct works, we continue to bridge the gap between unnecessary waste and relieving hardship, bringing dignity to those most in need.